Hey, welcome back. It's Mac, and uh, I'm here with Salako. Brand new game. Just came out in early access. I'm recording this on a Saturday night, and this game came out in early access yesterday on Friday. I tried streaming it on Friday, and I had to stop because we uh, ran into some technical issues on the stream. Got this uh, interesting black flickering problem which thankfully doesn't show up when I do a recording of the game. So I'm going to play this game for a bit. Why don't you come along with me on this journey? So what is Salako? Salako is a first person shooter, retro style. Um, it takes heavy, heavy inspiration from shooters from the maybe end of the 1990s up until the early 2000s so we're talking about half-life half-life 2 most notably fear if you remember the fear series from monolith definitely some fear vibes here but the art style is done in a very uh well it's it's based on the doom engine essentially uh, this game started off as a fan project and morphed over time into a commercial uh, product that you see right here. It was kickstarted, and um, I did actually play the demo uh, a few months ago, and I quite enjoyed it. And didn't end up finishing the demo, but what I played, I quite uh, I quite liked. So. The first thing you do is I'm going to select a difficulty. I've heard this game is quite difficult. And even though the commander difficulty is right there in the middle between these five base options, it is labeled as hard. For players with plenty of first person shooter experience, the enemy is lethal, fast, and will use advanced tactics to bring you down. Be smart, fast, and resourceful to win. I heard even an ensign or ensign is quite uh, quite hard. So I'm going to try lieutenant. The uh, the for this game, the real medium difficulty for players with some first-person shooter experience or those looking for a more forgiving experience. The enemies will give you a hard time, but leave plenty of room for error. Shoot them before they shoot you. To note, there's also exploration mode, which is essentially story mode. Beyond easy. And something that is in beta, which is their version of Nightmare, they call Slacko Must Fall. Not recommended for anyone. <laughs> I shall not be doing that. Let's just start a little bit easier on Lieutenant. And a very cool thing with this game is that they have a, a list of mutators they can do. Most of them, or I should say all of them, are geared towards making the game harder. So, hardcore mode. Health, no health regen. Less ammo lying around. They even mix up the levels slightly to make it more difficult. They don't really go into specifics on how they do that. You just get uh, less money drops. This rifle start mutator, you enter every new level with most of your items removed. Only the following items are kept, fists, rifle, weapon parts, all your upgrades. So if you're looking for old school approach, an extra challenge, go for this. Item scarcity seems pretty self-explanatory. Looking for an extra challenge, you turn this on. Fresh start, start the game with no access to previously collected weapon kits. You will need to collect each weapon kit again for the save file. So it seems like there is some cross progression between between different saves, which is nice to see. It's almost got this uh, roguelike element, I think. We'll see, we'll see. I haven't, uh... yeah, that's just my assumption. And finally, we have Harsh Invasion. All enemies at full power from the start. This modifier will start the game with the highest possible invasion tier, granting enemy access to more powerful tools, weapons, and tactics that would otherwise appear later in the game. This mode is not suitable for first playthrough. I would think so. 
Now, from the sound of this, it seems like there is some kind of RPG-like progression to the difficulties and how they maybe scale the enemies from uh, level to level. It all sounds very interesting. Now, they have this shaded out mode called Randomizer. It's coming soon, so a bit of a tease. Applies randomization to enemy item and object placement, as well as adding new systems to the game for increased chaos. We recommend a low value for a balanced experience and a high value for a chaotic experience. Well, that's not available yet. Uh, as I said again, this is early access, and I believe it includes only the first chapter of what uh, what will end up being the final game. I will go in just uh, with a vanilla setup, no mutators, at least for this first outing. Pathfinder Memorial. I do thank you for checking out the video today. Uh, you can also find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash McClintock. Um, I stream uh, twice a week. And of course, uh, here on YouTube, I cover a bunch of different things related to video games. Mostly uh, first plays, let's plays, live stream, uh, VODs, and hopefully getting some uh, commentary in the near future. So thank you again for joining me. Oh, very nice. So it seems like my name is Dawn. I am the lady that was featured on the main menu. And the level interactivity here is very reminiscent of the old uh, <clears throat> two and a half D shooters like Duke Nukem 3D. <laughs> All right. I just ate a sandwich to regain one health. There is quite a bit of interactivity, a very novel back when this sort of thing was introduced in first person shooters <laughs> in the 1990s, but uh, it's charming now in, this, in, in the game in 2024. Alright, let's get out of this room. Seems like there is some bad things going on outside and we have no choice but to get into it. And uh, yeah, it looks like my character <laughs> has been out sick with uh, you know recuperating from some kind of injury so uh, a little bit of environmental storytelling is nice let's kick this door down and off goes the siren at least one of them okay oh my oh well that doesn't sound good Okay, auto map updated, locked purple. Oh, that, that went by very quickly, but a little bit tool tip for us. So right away I'm loving loving the look of this game. Buttery smooth, as you might imagine. Just click, 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 but nothing actually happens. There's going to be a lot of keycard hunting. Yes, yes indeed. A taste of things to come. Cover. Some objects in Salako can be flipped over cover by pressing the X 
key. Uh, flip cover will have increased resistance against enemy bullets compared to unflipped cover, but can still be destroyed after taking enough damage. Stay on your toes. Press X to close this notification. So I could flip this around. And uh, you saw me crouch before, so I can just crouch behind it like this. I can like inch forward by pushing it. That's very cool. Flipping cover was uh, a mechanic in the Fear 2. That actually wasn't utilized all that much. It was just sort of like uh, a gimmick, if I'm being completely honest. Very gimmicky and it's not very well implemented. So you ended, I ended up not really using the cover system at all, like flipping the cover. Of course, I'd always hide behind walls to avoid getting shot, of course. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, there's some bad guys close by and I'm afraid. I'm assuming the the opening minutes of the the current game is very similar to what I played in the demo, in which case I'm expecting a very pulse pounding first encounter with the enemies. Oh, climbing. There's a ledge just out of reach. You can climb onto ledges by standing near the ledge and holding A. This can also be used to mantle over low cover. Enemy soldiers will have a harder time hitting you after mantling. So when enemies mantle, they need to uh, have they have recovery frames. Got it. And I'm assuming I do as well. Okay, that that chair is bolted down. Can't do nothing with it. Somebody hopefully popped the flare into this vent for me. Yeah, the soldier barks are extremely reminiscent of uh, the fear games. I mean, <laughs> I sometimes I feel like I'm using every excuse to name drop other well-known video games but to be honest any 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 game with bad guy soldiers has barks like that right <laughs> and we get a first save I like making uh, References and comparisons of things thinking that they're very significant when you know in actuality maybe not as much as I think they are Okay uh, I'm gonna save the sandwiches for when after I get shot up a bunch Oh shit Oh shit, yep, yeah, it's happening Where do I get the gun? Where's my gun? Oh. oh. Grabbing objects, aim at an object and press X to pick it up. This allows you to take objects with you. Press right trigger to throw it or press X to, again to drop it. Okay. I took some damage. I'm still okay. Do I have a flashlight? Maybe not yet. Simple little puzzle. Turn off the hot, hot steam. Secrets? No secrets yet. I find I find these indie these indie retro shooters very interesting. The ones that employ 
these retro graphics because it's almost like you're stepping into an alternate present of what could have been had uh, it's like a sliding doors effect with the the evolution of video game technology you know what if graphical technology did not progress much further beyond what we saw in the original Doom games and this is what we got you know <laughs> 30 plus years later um I like having the shutters open. I like seeing these blocky trees outside. Uh, and we have our first. Okay, I gotta crouch. Oh, he he had sidestepped my uh, gunfire. I have to say the muzzle flash is very blinding as well. Okay. <laughs> the corpses are so flat looking. Alright, there's I went to loot the bodies, but I guess there's nothing. Oh. Take that. So if there's no aim down sights. I know there is an aim down sights option in the in the settings. But by default, you have this more old school zoom, which I kind of like. Uh, I'm gonna stick with this for now. It's so hard to see past all the uh, smoke and For a map, there's no map. All right. These uh, these fellas are not human, or they are, but they're uh, modified. So they don't bleed red. I should finish exploring one major section before kind of moving on. I'm sure these levels are going to be fairly uh, intricate in terms of their layout. Oh yeah, there is a rifle butt. Nice. So medikits are all instant use. Should keep that in mind. I think I can go to that door after all. Can I run? There's no run option. Okay.
Oh, was that tooltip? I totally missed it. I was busy shooting. Shooting a man. Oh, found the purple key card. It's a gigantic key card. Should I go back? Oh, no need. Oh, I do have a flashlight. Oh, and I do have a map. I'm playing on the uh, controller and uh, this stuff is mapped to the uh, D-pad. We'll just keep moving forward. I'm not gonna bother backtracking. I don't need to. My aim. What does that do? Oh, look at that. You can now use your wrist codex by pressing the uh, menu button. The wrist codex is a powerful information tool capable of downloading datapad contents for you to read, check on level progression, and much more. Read the datapad you just found to find the keypad combination for the door near you. Okay. This is from Steven Rand, Patient Effects Lockup. Anthony, I'm sure you've noticed by now, uh, by now that the passcode for the Patient Effects Lockup has been changed. Despite being under constant surveillance and under lock and key, we had reports of a few things going missing. I reset the passcode to 1432 and we'll leave it up to you to set a new passcode so that you're the only one with that information. I'm just scanning the rest of the text here. I'm not going to read out every single thing that I find. Just because I will uh, read myself dry. My, my, my mouth and tongue are going to fall off if I do that. Okay. Can we pick up magazines? Oh, yes we can. But we can't keep them. They're just uh, throwables. Weapon life. Slacko today. Alright, so what's that passcode again? Say it with me. One, four, three, two. Oops. Oh, they're, they're, they're shooting other things out there shooting at me. Oh, these ones, I can just run over them and I, and I use them right away. Are those guys, are those guys coming in? Hope not. Oh, look at this. Pick up Dawn's loadout. Captain suit, roaring cricket. A roaring cricket. Slide ability, dash ability. Oh, very nice. They actually give you the pistol as your second weapon, not the first weapon. Interesting. How do you switch weapons? Not that button. Okay, so RB, right shoulder is my weapon wheel. There's no quick swap. You have to pull this. You have to pull the radio menu every time. Hmm. Interesting choice. Okay, it's so just one way in, one way out.
Can we do a manual save? We can. Do a quick save. LB, there we go. Incoming message. Sliding and dashing. Move forward while holding LB to perform a slide attack. Slide attacks allow you to get through small gaps like doorways, knock enemies on the floor, or dodge projectiles. You can also dash sideways while strafing and pressing LB. Oops, I just slid under the desk. <laughs> oh, we ended up back at the beginning basically, right? They looped me around in a big circle. Nah, that makes sense. So I can... I can get over health. That's cool. I can overcharge the health, which is nice. I expected to be able to shoot somebody right about now. Combat armor will have an armor part of your incoming damage. It's taken from the armor of your life while having less than 75 armor. 35% of your damage is absorbed. Having 75 armor or more absorbs 50% of your damage. Okay. You can really, it's very obvious when you're crouching. Go loy onto the ground. Oh, that's a strong gun. Ooh, packs a punch. <laughs> yeah, it's a good gun. That's why I have very little ammo for it. Yeah, a gun packs a real punch. I like it. What I like about this game already is that there's a very palpable sense of danger. Even though I'm fighting what are, what are clearly rank and file grunts, I, uh, I feel threatened. <laughs> you can correct the painting, it's cute. Credits. Get some privacy in this office. Okay. Came from this way. I'm a little bit curious to, to find out what the story is going to be like in this game or whether they just uh, dispense with any kind of real storytelling altogether. We'll see. So that portable medikit seems like I can store it and use it for later. Although, I don't know what button I would press to do that. That was a little intense. I took a lot of damage. Took quite a lot of damage. This is from uh, Tom Lenders, Chief Medical Officer.
Nothing too interesting here. Yeah. Eat this burger for uh, HP. Very nice. Yeah, get out of this room. you there. direction. The shutter doesn't activate. These shutters are broken. It's cool. I didn't shatter the glass immediately. It just cracked. It just cracked it. What if I threw it again? Does it eventually weaken? Oh, nice. I like it. I like it. Okay, so we already been through here. We had a firefight. Went into this office already. Okay, we came in here already. Here we go down this ramp. that. Oh, they say it's sniper rifle ammo? Yeah, let's stick with this weapon for now since I can continually get more ammo from baddies. When an enemy is not aware of your presence, a single shot or melee attack is enough to eliminate them. Use this to get one free kill before you start gauging in a fight. Limited stealth mechanics, eh? Oh, what? How do you see me? Oh, shit. Jesus. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's how you do the medicate. What? Wow. Wow. The whole concept of the giving you that tutorial for that first stealth kill it totally fell flat on its face. You know? So he's right over there, right? So I was crouched. Detect me?
You gotta feather the trigger for sure, because the kickback is uh, pretty severe on the on this rifle. I accidentally popped my uh, usable uh, medikit. I was uh, I fat fingered it <laughs> during the gunfight there. I keep hitting the Y button on my Xbox controller to switch weapons, but it does not work. There we go. Yeah, this uh, difficulty is no joke, even on uh, medium. It's no joke. So there is this door that leads to locked doors, right? Yeah. So the only other option is up here. We oh, got yeah, a nice health pack. A uh, grenade. Frag grenade deals large amounts of direct and collateral damage upon detonation. Upon thrown, the detonation timer of the grenade starts as soon as the grenade is stationary. Press B at any time to throw a grenade. somebody. Give me a room full of guys to use a grenade on, will ya? do anything. <laughs> the grenade must have just landed in front of the counter. Oh. Yes. Yes, please. Every little bit of health counts. Just remember not to press Y to switch weapons or else you will accidentally consume your health kit. So please, please, please remember. Do I need to, uh, uh oh. I find that hard to believe. Oh. oh, shit. I did it. I did it. 
I went to switch weapons and then I, oh my goodness. myself not to do it and I did it. Get a better angle. Where'd you come from? Jesus. Therapeutic environmental simulations now available at Pathfinder Memorial. I don't know if we're gonna read it anymore. everywhere. Oh good. I have no more armor though. So. Taking shots straight to the straight to the flesh now. Hapless souls in sun on fire constantly. Storage camera added to the map. Excuse me. What's notable but the uh oh, let's find out. Storage cards can be used to unlock storage cabinets which contain valuable items. Cabinet cards are never far removed from their respective storage cabinet. I keep searching. Okay, I thought I had one already. The flashlights losing juice. These ridiculous video game flashlights that have rechargeable batteries, but they drain at a ridiculously fast rate. There's a. Uh, I'm, I'm. Okay. I don't want to cut the cable just yet. That's my reflection. That's my reflection. Oh, hello. Okay. That's, that's very cool. It's the little things, like seeing your own reflection in the mirror. All right, looks like I do have to cut the elevator cable if I want to make any progress. Swimming, while underwater, press A to swim upwards. You can also aim into the direction you want to go and move forward to swim in that direction. Pretty, pretty standard stuff. Okay, looks like you have to do a lot more swimming here. Well, or maybe not.
I did not really need to pull the fuse box, but I did. I haven't been in here yet. Flush a toilet, right? Gotta do it. Oh, hello. Here we have another slide opportunity here. Secret. Hey. What? Armor. Okay, well. This area is in lockdown. Remain where you are and never forget Earth Memorial Day. I'm lost. I, okay, that's why I pulled the fuse lever. Go straight ahead. And then hang a right. I bet I know already, right? Mortuary. Oh, there's another piece of armor. How do we get in here? Can I enter? I might be on the right track. I head back into this. No. Yeah, I'm back in the lobby. So we gotta deactivate the lockdown somehow. But since we're back in the lobby, I can go somewhere else to explore, to look for a solution here. I think I will call this first to I mean, I'll, I'll call uh, an end to this video for now. Uh, I will continue on in the next episode of uh, Salako. So thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Uh, do like the video if you enjoyed what you saw. Subscribe to my channel. That would greatly help me, and I'd appreciate it very much. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care.